Trump came here. Come at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com. Off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So I got a long email that someone sent to me. And I'm going to talk about what he's talking about in between the texts. So here we go. He said, I would ask how you were doing, but I already know you're fucking having a good time. I've been following your work for eight months now, and I'm learning so much from you. It was so important that I pass it to a couple of fellow sailors. Oh, shit. The ex Navy, just like I am. Um, one just went through a divorce. The other suffers from depression and constant negative thoughts. After hearing me sing your praises, they finally bought your book, and I can see a total difference in them. I appreciate that, man. The one that suffers from clinical depression and has a low self-image is finally carrying himself like the confident alpha male that I know he's that I know is buried deep down. That's good, man. You know, sometimes we we need uh, someone else to believe in us. Sometimes, so you passing him off my book, you know, sometimes that ignites some people. Sometimes we need a, a somewhat of a kick in the ass to get things started. Sometimes, so that's good, man. You're a good friend. So uh, he goes on to say, everyone at the office could tell a difference. And they started treating him with respect, with the respect he demands. He's still working through your book, but just seeing this spirit of optimism he didn't have before is an, an amazing gift in itself. He's filtering out the negative he used to th drown in. My other brother in arms, who just had a divorce, has started following your work and he is doing amazing. He's always come off as the male gay best friend to women, but now he's learning to assert himself and create opportunities for sex to happen. And I'm proud of. Well, hey, I'm proud of you too, man. Hey, keep on doing what you're doing, looking out for your peoples. As for how You've helped me. I'm rereading your book because I like most guys only pay. Oh, wait, well, hold on, hold on. What he said. As far as for how you've helped me, I'm rereading your book because I like most guys only paid attention to the pickup side of your book when I read. That's a re. Uh, I think I, I think he made a mistake like that. I think he was trying to say. Unlike most guys, not only is he going to pay for the book, he's actually going to take action on what's in there. I think he kind of, you know, he made a mistake on how he worded that. So, yeah, that's cool in the game. So, now that I'm dating a beautiful girl who has all the characteristics I wanted in a partner, I'm rereading the relationship aspect and doing the best I can to stay centered and be that mountain. How I made it happen? I was direct, decisive, made a date. She denied it first, but she then counter offered my beach proposal to a late date with her friends. At first I said I didn't want to impose on her and her friends, but when she said it was her girlfriend and that girl's dad was very successful, I ended up going cool man you know sometimes uh you gotta sometimes you gotta just ask sometimes if you ask for a date you might just get it don't be timid i mean if you get turned down what's gonna happen it's nothing gonna you're gonna move on she's gonna move on and if she changed her mind say hey you know if you change your mind give me a call but you don't have to beg and negotiate and kiss ass to get a woman to go out with you. I mean, 
it's other fish in the sea. You know, it's too many women out here to, to, to solely be focused on one. So sometimes you just gotta ask. Even if the deck is stacked against you, just ask. You, you just never know what could happen. And even in the Bible, it says that. You know, a closed mouth, don't get fed. Go figure. So he goes on to say, I kept everything lighthearted and kept up with the conversation with the successful father, which she totally found hot. I let her, like a cat, stroll around the sandbar party, but of course, me staying centered and not following her around like a puppy, she came back to me. Yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're just leading. You're, you're, you're taking the bulls by the horn. You're not placating and pandering and kissing ass. You know, you you don't really have to do all that shit. You know, the be with a woman or date a woman or be around a woman. So he said, we ended the night with passionate sex, all possible because of you. Thank you so much for your work. Well, you know what, man? Thank you. You know, I didn't really do anything. The only thing I did is just uh, made you uh, figure out what you had in you from the get-go. Because everything you, all the answers that you want is already inside you. Sometimes you just need someone to believe in you and just to get you started. That's it. You know, because... Uh, a wise man once told me years ago, you don't have to get it right in the beginning. You just got to get it going. You know, and you don't have to have all the answers in the beginning either. Because if you want, if you're waiting to have to have all the answers in the beginning, when it comes to anything, you're never going to get started. So sometimes you just got to get it going, man. And uh, that's pretty much what this email was all about, really. You know, really, uh, the email was about basically being a man no doubt about it so if you like what you heard check out my blog chooseyourrelationships.com subscribe to my channel join my players club buy my books by clicking the link below this video and if you got questions i got answers until next time i'm out peace